Hello and welcome to the show and welcome to the adventures of Severus Dickus. It is the second week in Junius. Severus Dickus has been given information that one of the border towers is to be attacked imminently by the Volgari tribe. He hastens to the scene. The Romans have a musician, three groups of legionaries, one of which is in the tower, one group of auxiliary foot, one of bows and one group of tribal cavalry. The Germans will be led by Veruca as usual, having recovered from his wounds. He's got a new leader too, who's Fungal, a musician, Oathsworn warriors, three groups of warriors, one group of fanatics, some slingers, three groups of tribal javelins and some faggots, which is a freebie for this scenario. The Roman deployment point is at the top of the table here, and the objective is to relieve the legionnaires in the tower here. The Germans will have six ambush points as designated by the crosses here and their deployment point shown by the cross here. The Romans will have a force morale of 10 and the Germans 11. So here's the tower. One group of legionaries is in that. They have two rounds of pillar and will throw these at the barbarians who come in within their range and they activate automatically. The Roman deployment point is over this side of the table. And then on the left here in the woods is an ambush point in the low ground here. And the rough ground, low ground here. This tower is on a slight rise. Another ambush point here in the marsh. In the marsh. And again over here on the right. So the vast majority of the barbarian ambush points are again in the low standing ground. First card up is leader six. And that'll be one of the javelins. These chaps are going to deploy here from the high ground and just await the Romans. They know they're on the way. Blue leader one, Veruca, he's not going to deploy just yet. Red leader one, Severus, he certainly will. There he is, Severus Dickus, with a couple of groups of legionaries, Optio Titus Anus. And they've just got to cross this low ground here. And that's the tower. Blue leader two, right, Fungal. He's going to deploy from this deployment point with one group of warriors. Uh, can't get within four inches of the tower, but they need to get up here and uh, roll for a task 20 over a period of turns, and that will successfully capture the garrison. Leader five, more tribal javelins coming out here, and Tempest Fugit. Next turn, uh, leader six, tribal javelins. Right, I think they can move one dice six, cross that broken ground, and throw if they're within nine inches. Well, they're not going to be in range with that. Leader seven, more tribal javelins. Oh, they'll deploy over here. Baruka, no. Leader five, that's the allied tribal cavalry. They're on. Well, they will deploy here. And they can immediately engage those tribal javelins with their own javelins. Heading on fives. One hit. And the effect is one shock. Leader two, fungal. Right, it'll simply move those warriors up to here. So I'm guessing at the end of turn, these will activate and throw their pillar. Leader three, that is the fanatics, not yet. Leader four, that's the auxiliar bows. And they will open fire on the tribal javelins over there. Hitting on fives. Three hits, two shock. Leader five, tribal javelins. Right, they're firing at the uh, cavalry there. They need fives to hit, that's three hits. They're in light armor, so that's one shock and one kill. Red leader one. Ooh, big 11. Or Severus Dickus is closing in rapido to the tower. Leader four, that is the Slingers. Well, they will deploy here from this deployment point, right in front, and have a go. Six dice hitting on fives. That's uh, just the two hits. Uh, now heavy armor becomes medium, so it's four, five, shock, six, kill, one kill. Red leader two, Optio. Can't do anything at the moment. Leader three is the auxiliar foot. 
they're on and they'll rush out in skirmish order over on Cerus's left flank trying to get rid of these tribal javelins in a minute last card tempest fugit right pillar so there's eight legionaries in here four pillar at these hitting on fours three hits one shock end of turn red leader four that is the auxiliar bows and they will fire again at these tribal javelins eight dice uh, just the two hits one shock leader five well that's the auxiliar foot and they will try and chase these tribal javelins away and the javelins will evade if they get there. So it's two dice six, so they go seven. I don't think they do, but they've got to evade anyway. Now we'll go two dice six, so they go ten. It is six. Right, that's the tribal javelins here. Uh, they're going to switch targets and go for the allied cavalry. Just the five because of that shock. And that's a miss. Leader four. Well, that's the slingers here. And two signet are going to be paid and it's going to be darkened skies. So hitting on fours. Uh, not overly useful. One shock. Leader three, frothers. Mm. Oh, and Tempest Fugit. Right. Okay, second automatic. Uh, pillar throw here, uh, two hits, two shock. So these guys have got a task roll of 20. Uh, the first go, they get five, so that's a good uh, start. Red leader three. Auxilia skirmishers. Well, they're going to carry on, actually. Two by six, and the barbarians will evade again. They only go four this time. They'll have to go... Another six. Blue leader three. That's the fanatic. Well, now this is interesting. I'll tell you what they're going to do. They are going to ambush from here onto this group here. And they cannot evade. Just the one signa card because they are fanatics. They're out. They're in. First combat of the game. So the fanatics storm out of the marsh and take on the auxiliary here who are in skirmish order. There we go. It's immediately three shock on the auxilia there. One armor save, uh, which they do. And one point of shock coming back. So that further drops to five and they go again. Massive hit by the fanatics. One point of shock. Four kills. Save on a five, six. They save two. All right. Well, two are gone. One, two, another two shock. They lost by two. So I'm guessing they have to go back 12 because they're in skirmish order. So away they go there. They advance six. That's about how things happen for the Romans. Six, which is minus two. And the Romans are on eight force morale. Well done, the fanatics. Fungal. Well, I'm guessing he will uh, take a point of shock off here. Uh, this group will activate, rolling their task, another five, halfway to capturing the garrison, leader seven, well that's these tribal javelins here, they're going to turn around and go back, leader four, uh, slingers, now slingers are going to move over there and fire at them, and they miss, pretty useless, blue signa, Optio, he'll take that point of shock off the Legion. And Severus Dickus. Right, formation change. They will close up. They will go into close order. And they'll move forward. And they go six inches. Red leader five, that's the uh, Allied Cavalry. The Allied Tribal Cavalry just activated there. They charge forward. They've closed down that deployment point for the moment. And the Tribal Javelins at the end of turn have activated and they will throw their spears at them. Hitting on fives. Oh, useless. 
And I've only got one javelin left. Has Veruca left it too late? Severus Dickus is nearly at the tower and uh, nothing much is stopping him at the moment. Although there is a group of frothers to his rear left. Perhaps they can get activated soon. They're halfway to getting the garrison to surrender, but uh, Severus Dickus is nearly there. Ooh, frothers. Well, I'm thinking that they can just charge straight in here. Better roll for it. Well, they've got five points of fervor, so even if I roll two, they're in. No, okay, fine. So they charge in there. So they will be broken formation there. There we go. Four from both sides there. Uh, the Romans do one uh, point of uh, shock, which further goes to four. Uh, we have three defensive dice for the Romans uh, and they save that. So that is pretty much no effect. We go again. That's better from the barbarians. Uh, it's three kills, so three defensive dice for the Romans. Ooh, only, uh, well, none. No, oh dear. There's the Optio hit. Uh, he is not. That is a massive hit. Two shocks, so they're down to two further and one kill. Can they save the kill? No, they can't. So they go down to one further, but they lost by three and will have to disappear over this way. Three inches. Um, they will follow up one inch, I guess, because they've got one further. Uh, two inches, whichever is the greater, I think. So they go two. Uh, combat is broken. Bad things happen for the Romans. Six. Warrior group pushed back. It's another minus two. Ooh, Romans are on six. Again, well done, the fanatics. All right, red leader five. That's the tribe or cavalry. I think they'll again throw javelins here. On it. No effect. Blue signa. I'm going to play a red signa from hand and take some shock off uh, Optio's gang. In fact, two signa. Uh, down to one shock now. Blue leader seven. These trouble javelins will move nine. That is pretty good. They're going to go over here, I think. Six dice. They are hitting on five, so that's three hits. Uh, heavy armour. Uh, ooh, that is a kill. Leader two. Well, that's another point of shock off. What are they going to do this time? Three. They're on 13. Veruca. All right, interesting. Uh, the Romans are in a bit of disarray at the moment. Look at them. The frothers are smashing them apart there. And they've got skirmish tastic to their front. So Veruca is actually going to deploy from his deployment zone here. I'm not going to waste some signa on the ambushes from low ground and he can't actually get in contact with the Romans anyway, so they're going to come on here. So there he is. He's going to whip them into a frenzy now. Five. Well, that's two further each. Blue signa. Red leader three. That's the auxilia. They are heavily shocked. I'm not quite sure what to do with them at the moment. Um, can't go too far because of that shock. Leader four. Well, that's the slingers and they'll go straight at them and they will darken skies. Uh, okay, so three hits. Five shock, six kill. Uh, wrong, four, five shock, six kill. Well, one shock. Optio. Right, Titus Anus in a pickle. He'll take that point of shock off. Now, what does he do? I think he smashes in. Taking a fight to the Fanatics. They're no longer hitting the flanks. They just want to try and get rid of this lot. Uh, so, one shock. That is uh, all the fervor gone. One kill. Not saved. Three shot coming back, but the defensive dice cancels them out. Right, nice one. Go again. Two kills. 
Uh, neither are saved. So one, two, they go up to three. One kill coming back. Uh, saves, all saved. Well, I'm guessing they lost, so they uh, they go back three, and they will not advance. Fanatics just about hanging on. They need uh, four shock with two before they disappear. So well done, Titus Anus. Leader four. That's the bows. Now fire at these javelins again. Two hits. And that is two shock. Leader six. Well, that is that group of javelins just got hit. They're going to come forward slightly. Uh, I think they lose a dice because of that bog. In fact, they probably don't go very far at all because of that shock. Uh, right. They're within nine, though. Four dice. No effect. Blue Signa. And Tempest Fugit. Right, well, all the barbarians have been. That's it. End of turn. Optio is up. Right, I think he's just going to finish them off. Taking a bit of a risk. Uh, he only goes one. But he's not going to finish them off. Red Leader 3. That is the Auxilia. Well, they'll continue to make their way around here. Um, I've got to take off six, so they'll go ten. That's not bad. I want to get them in range of... Um, oh, Severus, you can start taking some shock off. Blue Signa. Red Signa. Right, that'll come straight off the Auxilia. I'm a bit loath to use some in my hand at the moment. Uh, that is uh, Fungal. He'll take that shock off. Two. Oh, 15 now. The chaps in here can see Severus stickers approaching, but uh, they're getting harassed, so they're getting worried and they might give up. Red Leader 5. Right, I think they are going to come over here and then throw their spears. Well, they go 12. Well, they're going to come to the edge here. Should have said that, but there we are. Well, nice. Uh, hitting on five and six, that's two hits. Damage is one shock. Ooh, Tempest Fugit. Interesting, right. One German group to move. And it's going to be Veruca's group. So it's two dice. Uh, plus two inches because of that further. Oh, cool, blimey. They go four. However, they're edging closer. Blue Signa. Red Signa. That is coming off the Auxilia. They're down to four. Uh, blue three is the Frothers. Well, I'm thinking they've got no alternative. They'll have to charge in. Uh, it's six less three is three. That's enough. They're in. Be a one sided fight, so that is three shock, one kill. Uh, they're gonna run away, or he's gonna run away. Just gonna take that lot away now. Gotta do defensive dice. Uh, they only save that one shock, okay. I'm gonna save on the kill. Oh no, so we'll have that one. Hmm, that was a bit of a disaster actually, so they're up to one shock. As bad things happened for the Germans, six. And that's minus one because of the fanatics, so they're down to ten. So although the frothers have disappeared there, they've done a good job. And uh, of course, Optio Titus Anus gang are now down to 50%, so that's not good. A leader four. Well, that's the slingers, they're right there. They're having to go at uh, old Severus, and that's a cracking hit for four. Four, five shock, six kill. That's nasty. Now, is one of them on Severus? No. But they are now 50% as well. Blue leader five. Tribal javelins with one shot left. I'll tell you what, they're going to come forward here. Two dice because they're going across that broken terrain. They go 10 less one. So that is plenty. They're up here. I think they have to go for the Legionnaires. That is three hits. Five shots, six kill. Whoa, that's a shame. Only one shot, so they're up to two. Big deal. 
And Tempest Fuji holds on several stickers, hasn't moved for ages. Right, one blue Cigna. And it is going to be this group of warriors here. Three. So the task is on 18 out of 20 now. These Legionnaires are not looking hopeful for uh, Severus to come and rescue them. And they're going to give up soon. Red Cigna. Uh, that is shock off Severus Dickus gang. Blue Cigna. That is not what the Romans wanted. That's the... Uh, no, the Frothers. Uh, the Frothers gone. Uh, red 5. They are throwing their spears again. That is missing. Hopeless. Red leader 3. Uh, he can't do anything, I don't think. Uh, he'll take a point of shock off, play a card, a signal card from hand. Well, they're down to three now. Uh, they are going to charge this slot. Take off three, so they go seven. They will evade. In fact, they're out of ammo anyway. Well, they go eight. So those tribal javelins have been chased away. Uh, these chaps have moved up. Hurrah, Severus Dickus. Well, the first thing he's going to do is... Um, what's he going to do? Can he take the point of shock off there? I don't think he can. He's going to move there first. He's going to move. Take that point of shock off. That's two. And he's going to get them to dress ranks. And they're going to go in there. It's a risky move because he's now just got one group. Optio, he'll take the other point of shock off. Blue leader five. They're out of ammunition. Can't do anything. Uh, blue leader one, Veruca. Right, the warband will advance again. This time they go 11. Uh, I'm going to take three off for that rough ground. So it's eight. And they'll have to get out of the way. Blue signet. Red leader four, it's the bows. Well, they've done nothing back here. Uh, they're going to move. They go seven this way. But it's too little too late, I'm afraid. Seven, that's tribal javelins. They are going to darken skies. Well, here they are, right in front of the Legion. They are going to hop up here. Hitting on fours. Whoa, big hit. Five shock, six kill. Okay, two shock only. Leader four, that's the slingers. Well, I'm going to be profligate. Another two uh, signers for darken skies. Hitting on fours. No, no that would be good for the effect. And what's that? Uh, reduced by cover. So that's three shock. They're up to five. And Tempest Fugit. End of turn. Blue Signa. More slinger action. I'll tell you what. Darken skies again. One out the hand. One on the table. Hitting on fours. Well, only the two hits there. What's the damage? One shock up to six. Blue Signa. Red Signa, that shock straight off. Ooh, fungal. Right, you'll take that point of shock off. Is he going to get the garrison to surrender? Needs a two. Gets a four. They've had enough. They give up. There we have it, Severus Dickus' first defeat. He has failed in his mission to relieve the tower. He looks on aghast as the Legionnaires come out of the tower and are butchered by the warriors there with fungal. He's only got a small group left. Um, they've been smashed by the skirmishers, mainly by the slingers to his left. They've got the javelins to the front. Uh, but look at old Veruca with the rest of his gang getting ready to swamp him. So Severus Dickus, discretion is the better part of valour. And he is going to scurry away and get the Allied Tribal Cavalry to cover his retreat. Dear, oh dear. Casualty-wise, that wasn't too bad, really. But uh, eight Legionaries were lost, along with another eight in the tower, I guess. Uh, two Auxilia Foot and one Tribal Cavalry. And the Germans just some other frothers. Well, there we go. Severus Stickers has come unstuck for the first time. Uh, that was quite a tricky scenario, but I thought they were going to make it to the tower in good time, and I thought Veruca had left it too late. In the end, it was the skirmishers what did for the Romans and also the good task rolling for Fungal and his gang. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and hopefully you can join me next time for the adventures of Severus Dickus. Yeah.